Our PAX Prime 2014 coverage is brought to you by HyperX Gaming Products. Make sure you click their logo to check out the great gaming content on their YouTube channel, as well as Phantom Glass, the ultimate Gorilla Glass screen protector for your mobile device. It is X99 Overload here in the Intel booth. Everybody has systems featuring the new 5960X 8-core Extreme Edition hyper-threaded Turbo Boost processor, but we kind of figured, well, there's so much stuff on display here, maybe we should narrow it down to the coolest systems that we found with this new processor technology. So starting with this one right here from Falcon Northwest, which has a uh, custom nameplate that says PAX. So you, either they built this system last year and they've had samples for over a year, not likely. Or they built this system just to bring to the show here. So it features a custom red automotive grade paint job. It's got a custom case that was, you can tell from the uh, drive cages here, they collaborated with Silverstone on it, so it's their design. However, it's got that Silverstone quality to it. They're using a Silverstone power supply to go along with it. They've got a couple of ASUS graphics cards. It should be noted this is a powered by ASUS system. They are a member of that exclusive club. And this is a really interesting feature. So aside from liquid cooling for the CPU, they go air cooling on the GPUs, but with this shroud right here that leads from what I believe is a 180 millimeter fan down here in the bottom, and that's one of Silverstone's air penetrator fans designed to really direct airflow up. They've got both of these cards running in their own separate wind tunnel that Falcon tells me can achieve up to 15 degree different temperatures compared to the CPU compartment. That means you're keeping your GPU heat away from everything else and, well, out of your system where you do not want it. Actually, I don't know how exclusive the Powered by ASUS Club is. It looks like they're letting just about anyone into it these days. Here's a system from NCIX. I'm just teasing you guys. This is actually a pretty sick system. It's built in the Corsair 760T, and it features a liquid cooling setup that I am personally quite fond of. This is Swiftex all-in-one liquid cooler that comes out of the box, ready to be installed, so you could just buy one of these from NCIX and throw it in your computer and liquid cool your CPU, or what's really cool about it is it, is it can be expanded. So it comes with this triple 120 millimeter radiator that's in here, and the CPU block, which also includes a pump, but it has been expanded in this case to include a front dual 120 millimeter radiator as well as two EK water blocks cooled GTX 780 direct CU2 cards from ASUS. You can also see that they have upgraded the stock look of this particular case. This is a Corsair 760T with a sweet ASUS, powered by ASUS ROG decally thing that looks resplendent with the red LED lighting inside. Definitely one of our top picks. But this one is water-cooled on a whole other level. You can hardly even recognize the Corsair 900D case that Main Gear transformed into this wonderful, beautiful beast. So, okay, yes, it's got X99 motherboard, as Extreme Edition, etc. Okay, it also has two R9295X2, so that's a quad GPU setup, but check this out. They don't even take up that much space on the Rampage 5 Extreme motherboard. You can actually install other things in there, and you don't have to have the, you know, pre-attached liquid coolers, because this whole thing is completely custom done out. Up here in the top, we've got a triple 140 millimeter radiator with a custom shroud. Down here in the bottom, we have a quadruple 120 millimeter radiator with a custom shroud. They have customized the fans by cleverly putting main gear stickers on them, but actually they're a bit of a custom dealy from Corsair. Definitely a nice performing fan, and it looks nice too with that white LED lighting. But guys, this is all about the liquid cooling. Aside from radiators, there has got to be, based on my rough ballpark estimate, at least $150 worth of fittings alone in this liquid cooling setup. And that leaves aside the, you know, uh, quick stopping valves in the bottom. So in case one of your dual pumps dies, you can actually keep running the system. That ignores the custom reservoir dual pump unit that EK built for them in order to even make it so that it can run dual pumps and it ignores the absolute beauty of that 3 8 inch thin wall tubing that they've got running in these extremely tidy straight runs all over the system for a bit of an automotive internals inspired look to it overall. Is it cheap? No, don't be stupid. 
Is it beautiful? Yeah. Now let's wrap things up with the Alienware Area 51. They are really dug hard to find a unique name for this system that's different from all the names of all of their other systems. That was a joke. That was sarcasm. But what they did dig for was a case design that is unlike anything else that I have ever seen before. So at the front, it's got kind of this angular intakes, optical drive, front I.O. thing with custom lighting going on. And at the back, it is similarly angled in a way that is actually kind of smart because whether your system's on the floor or on your desk, there's probably a wall behind it. And this makes it a little bit easier to reach the rear I.O. They had to go with a bit of a, an unusual internal structure. Check that out. The lighting on the side turns off when you unplug it or when you uh, disconnect it. There we go. And that's with the motherboard mounted at kind of like a, I don't know, 30 degree angle or something like that. So of course it's powered by X99 and all that good stuff, but this is very, very, very strange to me. They've got a modular power supply in here. Of course you're gonna have support for three-way or yeah, it looks like three-way. If this is the motherboard they're using up to three-way graphics card configurations, the one thing I would worry about here is whether or not we're trading convenience for potentially shorter lifespans for the fans. Because mounting a fan at an angle versus straight up and down or horizontal, depending on the bearing type, can be a bit of an issue. One thing I will say is they are using extremely high static pressure fans and spinning at a nice low RPM. So the system does remain quite quiet in spite of the powerful hardware inside that's actually being used by this game streamer right here. So guys, thanks for checking out our best X99 Core i7 Extreme 5960X, fourth generation new, we're just going to call it Haswell E Extreme Edition. Thanks for checking out our coverage of the top systems here in the Intel booth. Don't miss any of our PAX Prime 2014 coverage. And a big thanks to our sponsors for bringing us here. HyperX, you guys are awesome. Check out their YouTube channel. They've got lots of great gaming content on there right now. It's not just the usual like, oh, here's some like memory. It's going like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. No, it's actually a lot better than that. And also a big shout out to Phantom Glass for powering our trip here as well. They make fantastic Gorilla Glass screen protectors for your phone. It's actually made of the same material as the screen of your phone. So even if you were to shatter it, you could replace it with a brand new one. It's got that same tactile feel and responsiveness. So thanks to both of you guys for making it possible for us to be here.